Okay, guys. Uh, let's not waste waste time. We al already wasted a few seconds. So continuing with Scottish or Scotch. What am I talking about? So you have seen this in the previous video. If you have watched it, if you did not, then it's okay. You have time. And here, castle. And after the castle, d6 is the right move for your opponent. If he plays anything else, you're gonna destroy him. And now, queen b3. So, in the previous video, we have seen uh, queen f6. And in the video before that, we have seen queen e7. And now we are going to see what happens if he plays queen d7. <clears throat> Blocking this bishop. But maybe avoiding this kind of things. So on uh, queen d7 we play still bishop g5. Developing that bishop. And... Maybe, uh, probably not allowing his knight to jump here because we're gonna take and his pawn structure is gonna be bad and here let's see he has few choices first we are going to look at knight f6 so on knight f6 actually we play e5 I was wrong we do not chop that knight, we are trying to open up the center. So the general, good general rule is to always, when his king is in the center, try to open up center by, even if you have to sacrifice a pawn, it's worth opening up a center because his king is gonna be in a lot of danger. So e5, knight takes, Knight takes, d takes, and rook d, rook d1. Attacking the queen. Always try, <clears throat> always try to develop with tempo. So rook d1. We are trying to also uh, get this queen away from the f7, protection of f7, and also b5. Uh, b5, because we, we we want to give a check and take this take this uh, bishop. Queen tries to go to the g4, attacks this bishop on queen e7. We give a check and take the bishop. So, queen g4. We take on f7. And I guess that's that's it for this variation. And this is bad for black. Okay. So let's see what if he tries or she f6. On f6 we take the knight, he takes the bishop, and we take on h7, really nice. We have these uh, tactics available, because if, of course, if he takes, queen takes and pick up the rook. So, that's, I guess that's pretty much it for this for this whole variation and we are going to go uh, all the way back so all these variations are, are good you see that he plays if he plays check check here we are going to have a lot of lot of ways to to uh, crush him so okay so what he if he plays instead of playing bishop g4 uh, bishop b4 Let's say what happens if he tries bishop e7. 
So, so on bishop e7, we immediately go for c3. This is really important because, as you will see, it's not we're gonna get this pawn and we have we are going to have a strong center. Why he cannot take here? Because because of bishop uh, queen d5. And queen d5, the only move that saves the game, saves the mate. Yeah, he can play maybe this, but that's not that's really bad move. On this move, of course, we take that knight. He castles, and we play bishop g7. So here, uh, I tried this. And it's good, his king is open, but I saw that, yeah, actually, yeah, bishop g7, any computer is also saying bishop g7. Maybe I, I got confused. In, in some other abbreviations, it's much better to go back uh, to maybe e3, e3 or, or, or c1, actually, to protect this. But in this variation, it's not... It's, uh, it's not good to go c1 to protect this because of uh, knight. Is it knight before? Yes, knight before. And now you see the knight is threatening on c2 and also attacking the queen. And yeah, there is. You see, if we go here, it's gonna go c2, and this is bad. So you want to avoid that. Instead, you are giving up this bishop and opening up his king. And now you have you're gonna have a, a really nice attack. You're gonna take this this pawn and you have almost all of your pieces. I mean minor pieces developed in the queen. You need just to castle and white is much better. Okay, so let's go back. And, and instead of taking, which is which is a bad, really bad for him, let's say what happens if he tries knight, knight f6. Knight f6, we attack this knight. Knight e4, bishop d5, attack that knight again not allow allow that knight to to be close close in our in our camp and and then do any harm knight c5 we take now and we are taking with the tempo really important that's why we play this he goes back to e6 with the knight so he makes one, two, three, four moves with the knight, and that's really bad in the opening. And we are using that to develop uh, our pieces. And now we go knight c3, and we have a really nice, solid game from now on. Okay, let's go back. So we have seen. Knight uh, bishop e4 and bishop e7. Now we're gonna we are going to see bishop c5, and this is the most common uh, move. Uh, I, I I've been playing this for maybe two years, and and a lot of people play this. And on the higher higher level, now they play this move, which is the best move, and we're gonna explore that but probably you are lower rated and most likely you're gonna see this this move i apologize to higher rated players and let's see this this move so bishop c5 we still go c3 and this is a really important trick to to know so if he takes okay one second so here we are going to cover d3, which is, I, I've rarely seen this move, someone that plays d3. In most cases, 
people take a C3 or just develop another piece. So if he goes knight f6, that that is going to transpose to uh, the main line that uh, Guccio Piano that we are going to see in the future videos. Let's just cover it briefly. So queen e7, protecting the pawn, castle. And one one second. So C three, Knight of six. Something is wrong in the book. So probably I'm just gonna skip this. Yeah, okay. No, 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 it's not nothing wrong. Just uh, this is transposing on in, in some lines that we're gonna cover. And queen e7. On queen e7, we're gonna castle. He maybe tries, can try knight e5. We take the knight. Play f4. We don't care about this check. We just move the king. Wait a second. No, you took you took here. We go here. Queen d4, attacking the bishop, and queen b3, attacking on f7. So this is some small variation uh, what could potentially happen if he plays queen e7 okay so now let's go to the main main stuff so we're gonna first look at at this d3 moves even though it happens uh, doesn't happen really frequently but in the case that it happens you're gonna be prepared so on this move we play b4, gain, gain space on the queen side and also pushing up, pushing, uh, pushing down, pushing back this bishop, bishop b6 and a4, gain, gaining even more space. <clears throat> a6, best move, but let's say what happens if he tries a5 on a5 we play b5 knight c2 e7 and now queen b3 and this is this is bad for him because he has to give up this pawn if he doesn't want to lose this pawn he has to give up the d5 the d pawn we take, and this is much better position for us. So instead he wants to play a6, and on a6 we take with the bishop on d3. Okay, let's explore this line further. d6, castle, knight f6, Knight b to d2, castle, and knight c4. And this is this is nice nice uh, position for us to play. And that's that's it for that move. And for more more common move. If he takes, we have a nice trick here. We take on f7. You're gonna love this trick, and we 
give a track on D5. I, I, I've done this many, many times and uh, many of my opponents got confused uh, and they got fearful and lost the game really quickly. So bishop f7, king e8, we of course take the bishop, queen e7, and uh, if he takes, that's not really good for him because now we're gonna have this really strong bishop here and his king is not castled and he's gonna have a hard time defending the position so that's why he tries queen e7 we take on e7 we take on c3 and we are better in the end game the books the book says that we are better in, in the end game let's say he tries d5 takes knight b4 threatening to take and also threatening on c2 and now bishop g5 mm, this is really interesting move i don't i remember looking at this line but but uh, i'm kind of surprised okay let's see what happens knight c2 so we sacrifice the exchange i guess for the activity or something let's see and if if instead he tries uh, if he t took here we, we would just castle and uh, Yeah, I guess the book says that this is good for us. Let's go back. Okay, let's see. Goes here. Queen d2 takes uh, rook rook to e1, attacking the knight. Bishop f5. Rook takes e7. King of eight and rook c7. So the book says white is clearly clearly winning. Black's army passively observes its own destruction. Okay, nice, nice comment by the author. He likes to be. He likes to be. Uh, I don't know, funny, funny in his comments. So yeah, that's that's it pretty much for uh, for this opening Scotch Gambit, and in the future video we we are going to see uh, alternatives to what what Black can can uh, how, how Black can could respond to to our to to this line to Scotch. So I guess. Uh, there is nothing. There is nothing much to add here. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. See ya.